I take this opportunity to salute you all that are present in this meeting, which is the uh, USDF's Leslie, Leslie's Award meeting. I am Beth Brundi, the Country Program Coordinator for USDF Kenya Program. I am privileged to introduce to you Nariamed Beach Management Unit, which is a fish producing and processing business. It was registered in 2011 and we were able to meet them at a level where they were a low capacity grantee and give them an assistant organization cap uh, capacity grant from which they were able to do a lot of work, management and governance were improved and they purchased fishing gears to improve their business. In the subsequent grant, we gave them an expansion grant that enabled them to put up their facilities for processing the fresh and dry fish and their offices at Calocol. We have seen this grantee grow to a level where they have become the best and model beach management units or organization in Trukana County, where all beach management units come for learning and for benchmarking. It's for your information that I am telling you that low capacity grantees can perform well, can become model organizations. Narimet was one of the organizations that we met meeting under trees and borrowed facilities when we went for the first meetings. But as we speak today, the business has grown and has grown to a, pass, uh, to a level of 50% growth from 800,000 US, do US dollars to around 20,000 US dollars in a span of two to three years. We are glad to usher you the Naramed Beach Management Unit. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anyarta yong David A. Pologel, Araya Chairman, Akikundi, Anana Remet. Alo Maria Anakura Akichem, Kolonga Kingarin, Araya Anakura Angbar na Tegemer, Tegemer, na apatu ngichana ron, apatu lobaren. So, kapatu apatu na nam, hotere ngichani ngun, da pete, lawala na kalapatan. Awa kwa na maboti, walikuwa na tegemea ufufu ya maji, walikuwa na tumia migu kuenda katikati ya maji huko. Na pia walikuwa na tumia rafters. Lakini wakati mfadhili ADF waliingia, walipeo pesa, walipeo ngufu. Uh, Fila naona, kipatu pia imeongezaka kidogo kwa samaki fresh kuna market ya ya watu kwenye wanachoma na kufurai hapa nyarta lor ya sinda mbebe aje karimde sita mtu ana save pesa yake akiona akitaka kuanzisha kitu anakuja tu anaomba kwa BME sasa anakuja kuomba kwa BME kwa hiyo credit kwa hiyo micro credit sasa wakati tulifadhiliwa na ADF ilijaribu kutuletea mawazo ya kufanya biashara kama group. Fellow colleagues, the USADF Leslie Award winner in the SME category 
was a member of the Zilla Farmer Association with a membership of 30 farmers who wanted to farm livelihood for themselves. These farmers received training from Food and Enterprise Development Project Fed for short with support from USAID. In 2011, Fed constructed a mini processing factory for the farmers and gave them a rice mill with the capacity of two metric tons per day. Because the Zilla Farmer Association did not survive, Selma Agriculture Development Corporation SADC was formed as a private company in 2012. Most of its first production of pallet rice was damaged due to the lack of processing equipment. To address this problem, the International Fund for Agriculture Development, IFA, gave SADC a rice mill with the capacity of 3 metric tons per day and the building for processing. With the mill and building, SADC increased production and became a major supplier of government agencies that were supplying rice to their employees, the VFP, Fabra, Liberia, and other institutions. In 2016, SADC and the Liberia Agribusiness Development Activity, with support from USAID, entered into a cost sharing agreement for the provision of an integrated rest mill with a capacity of 16 metric tons per day and the construction of a processing center. The processing center has been completed, but the integrated rest mill has not been fully installed. However, to meet the demand of, of the integrated rice mill, SADC received a grant from USADF through which SADC has provided market opportunities to approximately 20,000 farmers, distributed quality seed right to some of the farmers to grow and produce more yields, constructed a warehouse, and doubled its revenue. Because of its work in the rec sector in Liberia, SADC was named as Farmer of the Year in 2017 by a local newspaper. And in 2018, the former president of Liberia, Madam Ellen Johnson Sullivan, honored SADC as the Farmer of the Year. The future goal of the company is to embark upon mechanized farming to augment the USADF provided funding for vehicle to purchase a 10 tire truck that will collect paddy rice from various farms to ease the transportation burden farmers face and to ensure that quality rice is supplied to consumers to reduce the importation of rice. Ladies and gentlemen, let me now present to you Mr. John Selma, the CEO of our Selma Agriculture Development Corporation. We we'll take this time to tell the USADF family to thank you, big thanks for SADC, Selma Agriculture Development Corporation. We know they have been a very sincere partners to us. As you can see us standing in this building, the Habib creator of this building today for the grant that we gave up. And uh, we are telling USA, USA DF, thank you for the award that we received. The award we received today as SCDC, it motivates us to do more and more what we were doing before. And we made sure that the award, with the package that they gave us, we made sure to put it into the truck and be able to gather the rest from the farm. Because the truck that we have today, USA DF was able to give us a grant only for 50000 And uh, we have put all the 10000 we were short of 50000 And this is working on the referral time. The 10000 can put the ad on that truck. Then we look for the 5000 we will receive the truck for that. Then USA DA is very grateful to several Project Development Corporation. And we are looking up for more assistance and help for to go into the mechanizing farming because the meal that we have now is the volume is higher than the farmers now. So we need of assisting from them because these are the only challenges that we have now. Because we have truck, we have motorcycle, we have warehouses, and uh, they have do a lot and training, everything has gone up from us. So we got nothing else to tell you, but we tell the USA DF, thank you, the family, thank you, and if we care, we have been running on the ground for us. We tell the director, thank you, and every supporter of this uh, package, thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm John Chisa, the country program coordinator for Uganda. Uganda is honored to have one of our grantees among the three inaugural winners of the United States African Development Foundation, the three award. 
It is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you Omiya Agribusiness Development Group Limited, the Ugandan winner of the inaugural Lesri Award in the early stage entrepreneurship category. The company is represented at this ceremony by its founder and managing director, Mr. Razak Omiya. The company's founder, Omiya, was born and raised in the district of Yumbe, in the West Nile region of Uganda, where people are largely dependent on small-scale agriculture for their livelihoods. Growing up seeing the challenges farmers faced in accessing quality inputs, Omiya went on to study agriculture at the university and thereafter founded Omiya Agribusiness Development Group. The agribusiness firm works to ensure that farmers have access to affordable quality agriculture inputs such as seeds and fertilizers. In addition, the company provides farmers with free agriculture extension support and as well as linkages to markets for their produce. Established in July 2018, the company has grown to be one of the biggest agriculture input disputers in the West Nile region of Uganda. Winning this award is a testament to OMI Agribusiness Development Group's outstanding performance. The award will drive the company's performance to even greater heights as they continue to demonstrate the three award values of leadership, excellence, service, learning, innovation, and execution. We wish Omiya Agribusiness Development Group success in its business endeavors. Please welcome Mr. Omiya to the Rizri Award Ceremony. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ganachi Razak Omiya. I'm 29 years old. I work as the Managing Director for Omiya Agribusiness Development Group Limited in Northern Uganda. The agribusiness firm is committed to ensuring that every smallholder farmer in Africa has access to quality, genuine and affordable agricultural inputs such as seeds and fertilizers. We also offer farmers with free agricultural extension support services and linkages to markets for their output. On behalf of the team of 18 young professionals at Omiya Agribusiness, we are extremely happy and honored to have been selected by the United States African Development Foundation Board of Directors to receive the USADF Leslie Award in the Early Stage Entrepreneurship category. This award will strongly reinforce our commitment and determination to contribute to a world free of hunger and poverty. More specifically, we will be using the award grant to extend our services closer to farmers through establishment of our branch in Ajumani district, which is just at the border with South Sudan. The branch will ensure that smallholder farmers, both refugees and Ugandans, are able to increase their productivity through adoption of improved crop varieties, have access to extension support services, and also linkages to profitable markets for their output. This will enhance household food security and income for the farmers. We are forever grateful to the United States African Development Foundation and the United States government for the support to young African leaders. Thank you so much from all of us at Mia Agribusiness Development Group Limited. Farmers first. <laughs>